don't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome once again to Shorts in Focus, where we show short films love. We are proud to give an audience to student and independent filmmakers, and we're just proud to be here. We're proud to be starting this movement. All right, this is a movement. There's not an audience up here. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> There's not an audience up here uh, uh, that currently exists that, that really brings attention to short films. And there's so many of them out there, so many quality ones, that we are, are, are really, really proud to be doing this and proud to be starting the movement that we're starting. Man, today's show is is it's more like a family reunion. Yeah. You know? It, yeah. it, 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 it really is. It's, it's, it's more like a family reunion. I'm going to have these gentlemen right here introduce themselves, and, and uh, we'll go into a little bit of what they do. I go by Big Hit. I represent Black Market Cartel. I'm a COO. I'm a producer, writer, event planner. Uh, I also uh, do a little bit of managing as well, and uh, I just get busy. I love to make art, and uh, it's love. It's fun. It's life. Straight up. Hey, uh, Mr. Carter, I uh, I don't do anything. I'm not from anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm here today. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to learn a little bit. And we're going we're gonna to keep it going. All right. All right. So, look, we've got some some productions. Well, well before I say that, I want to I wanna say this because we have some older uh, listeners who tune into this show who really enjoy the content. And uh, if I know the older generation – then I know they heard you say black market cartel. Yes. And and they automatically assumed that it was going to be on some gangster, you know, hood rat, no good type stuff. Can you just that talk a little bit? Because we're going to get into the art. Right? We're going to get into the art. But can you just talk a little bit about the positive things that black market cartel does? Just so that these folks can't judge a book uh, by its cover. Well, where do we start? I mean, first and foremost, we target the community 110 percent of the time it's all about bringing people together on all facts of life through whatever you go through we move closer to your mic for me yeah you want to we challenge every person place or thing to Mm -hmm. do what they love um without having to have anybody place or thing Mm -hmm. stop you from doing that uh that's what i can say about it okay i mean uh off the break Black Market Cartel is a it's a family organization to begin with. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all about brotherhood and the building of a of a foundation to push others forward, right? So it's kind of like the uh, cartel doesn't mean anything but family if you mm. look it up, right? Black Market is something that you have to get bootleg. You know what I'm saying? It's right. not available yeah. on the on the commercial shelves and so on and so forth. You know right. what I'm saying? So you're really talking about an exclusive family mm-hmm. that you have to know how to get to. That's that's what it means. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can you can you can go left or right with it, but uh, we out we out here to to, to build people up. You right. know what I'm saying? Through the idea of family. Right. So right. That's Black Market Cartel. So so give me specifically one positive thing that you guys do in the community just to just to shut up the haters before we just even get one. into the art just, just one. one just one because i know i i know how much uh, i do where do we I start want to tell them. workshop Gotta well go we have a hip-hop workshop it's called hype mm-hmm. and we challenge kids to grow outside of just what they're used to doing and hearing and seeing so we bridge the gap between hip-hop mm-hmm. then and now me i came up in the golden age of it. You know what I'm saying? The KRS ones, the Rock Cams, to the Jay Z's, to the Nas's. The game's changed since then. Mm-hmm. So, what we do is we build character through that. And we challenge them. We challenge them to write. Mm-hmm. We challenge them to make songs. We challenge them to make covers, videos. And we put all that together in one pool. And we give them a piece to shoot, to actually share right. and to give out. So now they know what it takes to make a song. Mm-hmm. They know what it takes to write a song. Mm-hmm. They know it's not just going into the booth and doing what you can do, even though that's what they're used to seeing or used to hearing. We teach the actual fact of art, and it's fun because you can do whatever you want to. Mm-hmm. And educating them about this business that so many of them yeah. want to get into, but no, not... Few of them know a whole lot about. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So I. I mean, we'll come back to that later. I. I I'm. I'm personally invested in the good works that these brothers are doing. So we. We're gonna come back to talk about that later. But let's. Let's get into. Uh, this music video. 
okay. real quick. This is shorts and focus. So we focus on short films and music videos. A lot of times can be considered short films. And and I think what we do is is we say that the film has to have a storyline to it. If it's just you know random pictures posted up or whatnot, right, you know right, right. there's there's no story arc to it. Not that it's not right. expression. Right. Not that it's, it's not, not expression. I would never story. say it's not expression. Yeah, but yeah. but for the purposes of this show. I feel like if we cover a music video, it has to have a story arc, right? And your v video has a story arc. So tell me a, just a little bit about um, what Don't Fire Me is about and, and how it came to be. Uh, P, do you want to take it and I'll just follow up All on right, that? back. Well, um, so this is a, first off, it was of a song that Hit had done, you know what I mean, for one of the projects that he had did, yeah. right? And he had already had a concept put together for it, you know what I'm saying? And like I said... Our entire company is built around, you know what I'm saying, building people and pushing them forward. Right. So he said, look, I got an idea. This is what I want to do for this song. And I was like, bet. Well, I got a camera. You know what I'm saying? Let's go do what you want to do for the song. Exactly. And that's that's, that's like the whole story. You know what I'm saying? We went out there. Um, it was it was you know polar bear balls cold. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and the snot was real and the frostbite was real. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the ash was real. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no makeup in that zone, right? But um, that's I mean it ain't no you know ain't no glamorous long story to it. We don't have no long stories. Really? You know what I'm saying? Won't be like, hey man, I'm trying to do A, B, and C. I'm like you know all right D, E, F. Like well, all right, let's go. Right. So that's that's how that's how that came about. So you had a concept. Yeah. You you didn't let anything hold you back. It wasn't a, oh we don't have enough financing. It we don't have nothing. enough people. It was we got a concept. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make it happen. Period. That's exactly. how that's how quality art is made. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, this is. The music video for Don't Fire Me. Don't Fire Me. Don't Fire Me. It's a damn shame how niggas fall a victim to these goddamn flames. But I see, sis, life ain't as easy as I might want it to be. So I gotta get up on my own two feet and keep stepping, keep stepping. No, we ain't sexing, but past the protection, tsunami blow a disaster. I master perfection. These niggas selling they soul for some cash in the necklace. Nigga respected like the forecast I'm expected to come when they say I'm coming. So who's next, kids? And I ain't caught up in who the best is. Cause the greatest rappers are dead. I'm so stressing. Got me smoking cigarettes. When shit is nice, shit life is like a silhouette. Beautifully smooth, it might just get a little vexed. And if you lose, there ain't no coming back from an L. You're like the North Pole trying to freeze over hell. You can't take the heat. Lighting off a loser's head's how I taste the feet. So put your foot in your mouth, try and taste the feet. My flow low like blood and in your basement see The man in the mirror is the only nigga facing me. And did I mention that that man's my reflection? If laws was my balls, I guess he'd pay my redemption. My balls be the cause? What man is you tripping? It might be that shit in your cup that got you talking out your ass, not giving the fuck. Go through the motion. Come on, motion, motion, open. I can't open. Thank you. 
So now you guys know what I was talking about when I said there had to be a storyline, right? And there was a storyline to this. And there's a lot to talk about, there right? There is. I mean, hey. there's, a, there's a lot combined in this video. <laughs> oh, well, before, before we go any further, you know what I'm saying? I got to give so much credit to, to CJ. You know what I'm saying? He's the, he's CJ, the editor nigga, good of the material that we, that we went out and captured and so on and so forth. But that's who put that, that tugging... You know, visual together yeah. that you that you saw. You know what I'm saying? That that's who strung it together to that story that we're sitting here talking about right, right now. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yo, 120 percent to, to my bad, my apologies. <laughs> um, but 120 percent to CJ. You know right. what I'm saying? Like that's that's the like dude. he pretty that's much took tons of footage. Like we probably had like an hour and a half to two hours mm -hmm. of just footage. Yeah, he took all of that shit and he cut it and just chose the best footage for the actual video and he right. put it together perfectly all right shout perfectly. out to cj shout out to cj out for to that CJ. one that shit yeah. was epic man editing this creative uh this creative is that your phone you got like a whole I don't know. Like a movie trailer. Going, yeah, yeah, man, that's actually on the next show. You know, yeah. so y'all can tune in to BMC. Yeah. Listen, visions. You know, I got something good for you. All right, so listen. So, so before there's a video, there had to be a song. Yes. Tell me how how did you create? Oh, or wow. what was the inspiration behind creating a song? <laughs> Called Don't Fire Me. Don't Fire Me. Wow. Um, I was working at Womp Womp Womp. I'm not going <laughs> to uh, shot yeah. them out. But I was at a job and I was new. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, I kind of marched to the beat of my own drum. Mm -hmm. So if I see a problem, I fix it. Right. My way, I do take what I learn. And so I was having a tough time at this job because... Uh, you know, folks on top, you know what I'm saying? Like, hold up, what is he, why is he doing it this way? Mm -hmm. And I would come into work feeling some type of way, you know, right. know what I mean? Um, and so I'd come into work, there was, there was a good month where every time I was a minute late or even on time or this happened, they're checking me and I'm feeling these eyes on me and this pressure. Mm -hmm. So uh, fucking this idea comes into my head like, you know, hmm, like, do I really need this job? Yeah, for the money, but mm -hmm. do I want to be here? No, but I need this job. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not just thinking about that. I'm thinking about just life in general, you know, right. like you talking to your folks, your brother, your sisters, your mother and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like, don't give up on me. Right. So pretty much in that sense, I wrote that at work. Um, <laughs> I wrote the hook at work. Okay. Um, and I left it on a table and my boss took it. Oh, wow. Now, he ain't never told me he took it. <laughs> Maybe he ain't know that I wrote it. I'm sure he did. Right. Um, but I knew that he took it. Right. So that hook, don't fire me, fire me, just mm. kind of stuck. Right. The actual verse I wrote when I was like 17. You know what I'm okay. saying? So that verse is old. 
and it was just a verse that I never like use or put like on a song, and everything just fit like it was perfect. So, so I changed the verse up a little bit. Hook was new, bridge was new, uh -huh. and boom. So did the did the hook stand out to you so much because your boss found it and you were worried that you would be fired because he found it, or no, it was just no. the symbolism of you wrote this hook and the boss found it and you know just. Something that came out of the situation that your boss sort of created, well, he ended up finding. Well, or she ended up finding. I don't know who. It was. Finding it wasn't the thing. Okay. Um, I actually felt that way. Like you know, don't fire me. Like mm -hmm. don't fire me today. Right. Like you, you could fire me tomorrow, but today I'm trying to make money. You right. know, today I need this money. I got a bill to pay. Type shit. Mm -hmm. So it was more or less not really about the boss taking it. That's just how I felt at that point in time on that day. Okay. And I was going through some shit there at work, so I said, fuck it. I'm, I need a release. Right. I took some time out, went into a corner, took mm. out my pen, I started scribing. Okay. You know? And that's where that hook came from. Are you still working there? Uh, no. <laughs> but I thank you guys from Womp 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 and all the good people at Womp Womp Expression for giving a me cost. a chance <laughs> to shine. Um, I actually end up working there for two and a half years, man. Wow. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they wanted me to climb up the ranks and, mm -hmm. you know, I had better things in store, so I chose not to. Okay. But so I got to ask, I got to ask the obvious question. <laughs> Did you get fired? <laughs> I did not. I did not. I did not get fired, world. I did not get fired. I'm defeating the stereotype in this motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I actually um, decided to leave. Um, you know, Damn. going to the Why boss. would anybody do something like that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I decided like... that, you know, I had outgrown uh, that place, man. Okay. I had been there mm. for years, and they wanted me to be a manager, and... Mm. The management wasn't happy, you know what I mean? Okay. So you're like overworked and like underpaid. It doesn't really make any sense. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, I'm not going to really grow with them. I've done everything I could done. At that point, I was just training. I would just come in to train people. And that became just, I just didn't want to be there. Like the first time I went in there for the first time in years where I was like, yo, this shit sucks. <laughs> I was like, bro, you, <laughs> nigga, you need a change. Right. You know, because... <laughs> I take pride in like loving what you do, mm -hmm. and so it's so it's like not work. So you don't feel like you're coming into a job, or you don't feel like it's a job or work. You're right. just doing what you love. And the second that was gone, I was like, "Nigga, I gotta go." So, mm -hmm. so the irony yeah. is, you you are actually doing well. Yeah. At this job, to yeah. the point where they wanted to move you up, they yeah. wanted to bump you up. Yeah. And then after doing some soul searching of yourself, mm -hmm. even though they wanted to promote you. Yeah. From from a job that inspired no, this, bro. this they were, don't fire they were literally video. begging this man, bro. They were literally like on hands and I mean, knees, they were, and I want, I mouth for, open. They I, was begging this man. Shouts out to the folks at Womp Womp Womp. I love y'all. I want for the audience to catch this full guys. circle, right? So <laughs> he he started a job that he essentially hated to the point where it inspired this whole song, "Don't Fire Me," right? And it comes full circle to the point where they want to promote this man. Right, they want to promote him, and he quits. Mm. How? Where, where, where they do that at? What is? Where do they do that at? Uh, hmm, in a place called Nantucket. Nah, uh, <laughs> they just. I mean, bro, it yeah. was just time, man. It was time, and you know, um, I worked for such a long time from like a preteen, just to the mm. point where it's like. I get the gist of it, you know. I know there's bills that have got to be paid, and that's a thing, but, like, I'm not going to be in a place where I don't want to be. Right. So, like, even if I do, let's say I get a promotion, and now I'm the guy, I got to spend more time in a place that I don't want to be in. Right. You know, so it was more or less uh, the leadership or the lack of it mm -hmm. that really <clears throat> pushed me towards the decision that I made to... Now, no now if my Walmart. parents are watching, no shout Walmart. out to mom and dad if y'all watching. If my parents are watching, they would say that this is a typical millennial mindset, right? We were, we were, we were literally just talking about the. I hope that's not fading out live like that. But we were, we were just talking about the fact that people in my parents' generation, if you had a job, no matter what, you fought to stay at that job as long as possible. Yeah. Where people in in the millennial generation. Will switch jobs at the turn of not no not everybody. I know some folks who came in who have a job and they've stuck with it. 
you know, we want to keep financial security or, or whatever. I know that I've jumped around a whole bunch of jobs, and right now I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do my own thing. I'm trying to start my own business, and this is what you know, what you guys have have done as well. So, <laughs> what do you think? I mean, do, do you think that your parents would have been able to make the same type of decision that you made, or the same type of decision? Because I know you've made some similar. Some some uh, some similar choices, <laughs> right? Just as just as just as far as rolling off of your creativity and artistry, as opposed to jumping head oh, first shit. back into nine to five, right? Uh, Do you feel like your parents would have made those type of choices? Man, I think that's a that's a that's a multi pronged fork right man. there. Like <laughs> like one, my 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 father is a. A job jumper, not a career changer, but you know what I'm saying? A job jumper. And, and, and maybe not jumper, you know what I'm saying? Five to ten years at a joint, you know what I'm saying? And then bing, bing, and then go somewhere else or whatever. But, you know, my mother has been a teacher since <sighs> teaching, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mother been teaching since teaching. Um, but, you know, I did I did ten years in one job, you know what I'm saying, ten, twelve That's years true, in a in a career, you know what I'm saying, and then and then kind of switch gears on them. Mm. So I don't know if they if if I can fall under that jumper right. category. Now see, I only, you know I only know you I from jumped. the mindset that I you have <laughs> now. You know what I'm saying? I know your mindset now is create create the hell with everything else. You know what I'm saying? Like jump on board, let's make some stuff happen. That that's not a that's not an old mindset though. Like yeah, I I've I've, I've, I've I've only I've only adopted this in the last I'm gonna stretch it to two years. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stretch it to two years. Mm. It pro- it's probably more like eight, nine months. Right. Maybe ten months. You know what I'm saying? But let's just give them a year. All right. Well, you know, <laughs> something we'll, we'll compromise, right? <laughs> but but, <laughs> but you know, this is, I didn't you know, I haven't been thinking like this forever. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm I was a very uh, fixed mindset individual, right. you know what I'm saying, and and uh, I had to adjust my mindset for my own success and growth and okay. and benefit and achievement and you know what I mean, like all, all of these things, task accomplishment. Right. Um. So now, now I believe in learning and growing and teaching. Mm. Before I believed in hammer and nail and <laughs> and you know, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and find another nail. Right. right? The greater people than me. But, All right, so uh, yeah. we, we, we got to switch gears here for a second because we got some more that we really want you guys to see. Um, this next clip is from a piece called Safe House. And I, because I don't want to toot my own horn, Jeez. you want to talk a little bit about about what I mean, how this piece came together and what happened? Oh, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, mean, oh, um, I mean, I do it if you want me to. A real to, quick jump? You know, like, what, what, you know what I'm saying? How just much a time? brief synopsis. Right. All right, well, well. <laughs> Uh, I, I got a I got a friend who's a gifted writer. You know what I'm saying? And what he did was he, he shot me a script um, about this abstract idea about what we, me and my brother were doing. Right? Uh, that that friend's name is um Kain, by the way. Um, so so I read the script. You know what I'm saying? I, I really didn't care what it said. I was gonna do it anyway. Me and my brother went down. You know what I'm saying? It was really about this this uh absolutely dystopian. You know what I'm saying? Future where where expression is is forbidden and we're hunted and, and murdered and they're not dogs. gonna be able to hear you. I apologize. You, right? just, you know what I'm saying? saying? I'm expressive. I'm expressive. I, I got stop a, taking your I anger out on the table. I got to put my hands <laughs> on. Something, right? Leave it be. But, it's um, just a table. <laughs> but <laughs> just but a table. the bottom line is it was a great idea that was that was maybe an exaggeration or maybe a, a premonition. You know what I'm saying of what's going on already. Yeah. And that's the bottom line. And a hint so, toward the future because yeah. uh, I've got a lot of, as you guys know, I'm in film school at American University. I've got a lot of classmates Whoop. who are like, uh, you know, <laughs> those, those guys yeah, who were in that, cheap you know, those, those, those guys <laughs> who were in that clip that you did. Are they still available to do projects? Hey, or? look, man, I'm always available. Y'all you know what I'm saying? I, I made an impression. I'm, I'm out here like hunger. You know what I'm saying? So you can always find me, right? So just. <laughs> All right, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is directed by yours truly, starred in by Mr. Clarence Carter. Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter, everybody. Christopher Carter, ladies and gentlemen, this this clip is called Safe House. (laughs) 
We got time to kill, but not time to cry. We're sick and tired of being sick and tired of we don't want violence. But I swear to God, another moment of silence, and we might explode. Never Freddie Gray, never Eric Garner, never Trayvon Martin, never Timmy Rice, never Sandra Bland, never Oscar Grant. I'm a dude to y'all, and we might reload. Might reload, so we might reload. Freedom crying, bullet tears. We on Sunday, shoot on Monday, day on Tuesday, down the days. Might reload, so we might reload. Bullet crying, bullet tears. We on Sunday, shoot on Monday, day on Tuesday, down the days. They're coming, aren't they? They're coming, aren't they? Of course they're coming. What you expect? So what are we gonna do? We? Ain't no we. You on your own. You need me. Like hell I do. I'm good as dead without you. What, you gonna make me say it? Nah. It's done. We stick together? Yeah. We stick together. Okay, then. You ever, you ever watch something and you reminded of how good it is? Oh, like we can't, we, we sitting here watching it. Like man, what <laughs> what did we do? Like we don't even. I had people. I, I posted this. This was actually that was actually a school assignment, and um, it came out so well that I put it on Facebook. And I had I can't tell you how many uh, people commented on it. Like where's the rest? What are you doing? Where's the rest of this story? And I was like, yo, it's an assignment. The assignment was to shoot the scene. Like I shot the scene. And people were angry. People were people were were bona fide. They, they should be. Direct all of your anger. I was one of those people. TV. You know I was saying? one of those Mr. people. Kain Thomas people, just people would, request more man. from him. You know what I'm saying? He is yes. bullshitting. I believe that. I believe that. Can I just do an all studio round of applause for you this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That shit was epic. Stop, man. Stop, I also stop, was stop. one of those people trying to fight you because that shit was fucked up. I was like, I better not see this nigga within this next week. Pete, don't plan nothing with Kaim, bro. Because I got some shit to tell him. Like, that fucking script was long as hell. And this nigga got a clip, man. But it was amazing, though. Probably one of just the best just short, even if it's considered or not a short film. Just one of the best, like, pieces of work and just how it was put together um, from, like, me reading it to seeing it. I mean, it was fucking epic. And right. you captured everything within that short clip. I appreciate it. We got somebody off screen. Y'all can't see it. He's giving shout out. What's your name, bro? It's called Love. R Richie? Richard. Richard. Shout out to Richie. Shout Richard. out to Richie. Shout, shout out to Richie. Out to Right, right, oh right, shit! Right. Hey, hey you! Yo, all right, all right, you hey. coming up? Yeah, I'm Listen. a transfer student from uh, Michigan. <laughs> okay. Some 106 right. and Park yeah, shit yeah, right now. Yeah. 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 He yeah. pull yeah. a microphone yeah. out of his guy. Nigga, he pull that shit out his fifth pocket. No, he pull that shit out his fifth pocket. I probably be the old, oldest the guy and majoring in film because I'm like 47, but I I got some some stuff under my belt. Collision course was filmed in Detroit in '80s. Collision course, you said? It was an old film that came out in the 80s. Uh, it was like 40 something million dollars to make. So they decided they was fighting over the, the creative part. Louis mm -hmm. Teague, he mm -hmm. directed Cujo. He and you got you got a business dog card, dog my Right, yeah, no, man. No. We gonna have man, we doing we interviews tonight. Shit, man. <laughs> I mean, doing interviews on this one. I was an extra. Pen and paper or something? Then, then, like then what you talking about? I was a set decorator. My, um, I wrote Bella's Cop 3. It got rejected by Paramount, so I know how to write screenplays. So okay. I'm, right. I'm your guy. If you, you need know, some help, we'll talk. You, you, you know how to write. Please. I need you to write a yeah. name and contact down because you ain't got no business card. Right. Like, we'll like, how are we going to track you down right. with no trail? Hey, yo, right tune into Listen Vision Studios. Attention to the front, though, because I, I feel like the viewers have been looking yeah, at yeah, the whole screen for like two minutes. That was cool. Next time we do that, you got to jump in front of the camera. We got to get in there. But no, all right. So, question for Paramount. Oh, shit. 
that. Question oh, for for Mr. Carter. No, Mr. Carter. All right. So we we've seen one project where you were behind the camera, and one project where you were uh -oh. in front of the camera. Tell me the differences. Give me give me three if you can. Three differences between being behind the camera and being in front of the camera. Um, man, that wow. To be, to be honest, I think that a lot of I think a lot of behind the camera people and in front of the camera people would have all types of answers, you know what I'm saying? But I don't have any. I don't have any any differences to point out cuz to to me they're both um an expression of an idea. You know what I'm saying? So I I go into the situation like how can I best play the part that I need to play to make this idea come to life right right so when i go in as a you know what i'm saying i hate to use the word actor because that's not you know what i'm saying but you might as well use it man uh, so you, so you used to it. so <laughs> you know what i'm saying so, so when i go in so when i go into a situation in that role right mm -hmm. i'm at the mercy of the writer and the director and you know what i'm saying so i i relinquish you know what i'm saying control to the idea of painters mm -hmm. right if I'm behind the camera, you know what I'm saying, I'm still at the mercy of the artist and the director, you know what I'm saying, and how they want to put that picture together, mm -hmm. right? So um, now, if you you know if you're talking about in a consulting role, you know what I'm saying, well then you know <laughs> difference is what I say is gonna happen, you right, know what I'm saying? Like right. that's the that's, that's from the A difference. to Z for real. <laughs> like, but but you know when it comes to when it comes to art, you know what I mean, or or any you know what I'm saying anything in that realm of personal expression um i am a slave to the expressor you know what i'm saying like to make to make that expression as as authentic to that person as possible you tell me what to do we go do it you right. know what i'm saying mm -hmm. to within reason right you know what I'm saying? It's like right. within reason nigga i ain't gonna do anything yeah 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 i'll do most <laughs> not everything i ain't gonna do it all if, <laughs> if, if you can take yourself back to the day we shot this i'm gonna ask you sort of a Existential oh, wow. kind of kind of abstract type question, is but I but I, I know you, and this, <laughs> this answer is either gonna be really short or really profound. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> Who were you when you shot this video? Ooh, I was. You don't the jump. When you, jump? Yeah, when you were in the road in Safe House, that was me. Who were you? That was me. You uh, explain that. I was me in the future. They don't, I, was, I, was they don't know over, I was on some. I was on some. I was on some. All right, so. You're right, because I'm nobody and I do nothing and I'm from nowhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but um, I, I do preside over an entertainment company. You know what I'm saying? I, I do um, uh, build platforms and, and foundations for artists and, and accountants and, and organizers and managers. And, and you know, um, I am the... I attempt to be and live as the team orchestrator. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I believe and live for team. So that is what I do. So that me and that is just me in the future. You know what I'm saying? I, I was in the realm of, you know, being responsible for the hunting and murdering, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> of a group of my friends and family. You know what I'm saying? That, that chose to put their necks on the line because they believed in what I was telling them mm -hmm. so when we shot that use use uh man <laughs> can i say one thing can i say that that script was almost like a dream i had like oh, weeks real. prior like That's things crazy. that we were talking about just based off of the path that we knew that we were on and knowing the things that we were gonna come across like mm. that was almost like uh like it was like that was the back shit, of my man. hand. Right. Like it was so familiar. That was like scary. with what we deal with now, That's today, crazy. and that was then. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Like, oh, all right, that shit was awesome. <laughs> Stop it. We, we're gonna take a third break here because we have one other piece we want you guys to see. And my co-host Matt Chipolone is here. We're gonna yeah, work him. Yeah, baby. Hey, what's up, Matt? Where's Matt? Where's Matt? What's whoop, going whoop, on? Whoop. It's Matt. It's so well a lot If 
I was somebody? What if my brothers wasn't trapped in kitchens, kissing dishes, pictures and wishes flipping? Flipper was in prison. What if somebody sacrificed more than you while you isn't? For the security of our children, I'm all in it. Bringing organization and execution to get it. Been heavy with the consequences of levies. My future brick and mortar is consequences and torture. Bet it. And I'm the peace preacher. Keep a peace, keep a politic, and gotta rid this game of nines and good riddance. Is the problems, I'm the problem, and my problems, y'all still in this. Non thinking, non doing, non go getting it. I'm the picture of precision, professionalism. Keep my line sharp as scissors, my slicing intuitions. Assumptions get you propped up, acting up and not, cause dragon needs scorching up with your hot doves. Her baby's gone, you don't get it. The church can't fix it, the world keeps spinning. She wish it didn't. Her boss still calling, her landlord itching. He want that rent. The month is ending, but she don't get it. Her life just ended, her soul just broke. Her heart imploded, she can't get up and she can't walk over it. You can't console her. The ground just opened up and swallowed her whole. Her son just died. The hell with your condolences, it's over. Cause every day she putting up with harassment, wages that suck. Just so her son could be something. She prayed while running the work, hoping the Lord could keep up. She wouldn't see him that day, so she left her love in the oven. Wrapped in the doom and them for you to greet him when he got home. She heard the gunshots later and called him up on the phone. Her scream was haunting. This is for all the mothers that lost sons to whoever's bullets. I love you and I'm sorry. Yeah, so many broken laws. Who woke enough to open scars up and let this sunlight in? Whatever folk you are, live feed. I smell a hashtag. Let's try some things. 1,400 city cops in the line. I mean, seven judges, 15 lawyers. What else we need? 66 politicians pitching for extra greed. The next to bleed is probably fam. Bro, I know the stern as well. Shit, hell is where my life began. Can't be too much worse in jail. Gun to a random badge Let's see if his body cam Stay long enough to catch this flash Baby, let's say second class Lies cause I ain't naturalized, right? <laughs> Ask him why he mad Probably cause the layman ain't supposed to learn these facts You just know you poor and black <laughs> Gotta love it even though it's there to hold you back Don't worry, this is only rap I know you trying to dance and clap, chill Find me in the fields, breaking open sales Until the devil start to answer back So it, oh, it, it, it occurred to me that we did not introduce the fact that that was a music video and that both Perrin and I were in it along with my man Cyril, uh, whose who's government name, he might be mad at me for saying it, whose government yeah. name is, is Matt. I won't even give his last name. I won't Better not have no warrants name. out there. Man. But shout out to Matt who's going to be very, very <laughs> angry with me because I was so busy I didn't have the chance to tell him that we were going to air this. There's a whole second half to that video that has not been edited yet. So, uh, I mean, if, look, tune in to Shorts and Focus. Go to the Shorts and Focus website and uh, Shorts and Focus Facebook page. As soon as that video gets finished and edited, it will be posted and shared for everybody to see. Uh, but in the meantime, you might have noticed uh, we've welcomed a, a pale face. I'm sorry, I'm like, <laughs> pale face. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah, that's not a, now we talking I can, about some I can, shit. <laughs> Oh, I can, oh. I, I can say that because that's my brother and I oh. love my co-host Matt Tippin' How you doing, man? What's in those mugs, man? What's up, Matt? Jeez. 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 No, oh, all I'm right. too far. Oh. No, you're actually good. He's just in need of a tan. That's all. <laughs> Go on a vacation. Where are you a couple from, weeks. Uh, Baltimore. Be more. Yeah, he's a Baltimore. dirty white boy. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm, I'm definitely late to this party. That's what I get for going to class. Wow. Walk, walked into an to ambush. Learn and shit. You know, here I am about to start complimenting videos. I just saw you guys <laughs> in, and I yeah, gotta listen to this guys. bullshit. Yeah, don't do nah, that. Don't seriously though, to start. Matt has just uh, finished filming a documentary that is awesome. That will knock your socks off completely. And I'm hoping he gets the chance to uh, to share it with us and share it with the world. Um, and I know you can't talk too much about it now just because, you know, it's not done yet. But uh, kudos on that. Thank you. On the work that you've been doing. I know it's quality work. I know it's uh, it's effective work. You know, it's, it's affecting change through the work. I'm like, look, man, I'm, I'm proud to call you my co-host and my friend and my brother. I appreciate that. That was a good makeup. Aww. <laughs> Aww. We're back on level ground here. That was cute. That was so cute. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was God. so that was cute. Awesome. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm just playing. Is that a moment that, that we but, just uh, witnessed? He's a, a stern animal. Should we move That's out of awesome. y'all? Awesome. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, let's, hey, let's, <laughs> We should switch seats. I mean, <laughs> straight up. No. If, we, we, don't, break, we don't get to this get video quick. We're going to forget we watched it. Touche. Touche. First of all, that was a real... 
collaboration. I mean, that was a polished piece. The the, the music was great. Uh, I mean, I had heard that way back when you first. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was that was a couple months ago. I think I yeah, first heard first that. Recorded. So I mean, that was really really deep verses. What was the the planning process that went into that? Whose idea was it? Where did the music come from? How did you sit down and say? Uh, you know, we want to make it that much of a, a of a serious production because that was that was polished stuff. Well, I, I guess I got it. That's all you, <laughs> you talking about. All right. Well, um, my man Matt was coming into town to do the show. All right. He uh, was actually the the feature filmmaker on the show. Was it two three shows ago? I did get to see that. Show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was the the feature filmmaker on the show for his short film, A Day in the Life. Check it out if you haven't. Um, and I knew that you know he. He uh, he did music. He, you know, he he rhymes and I rhyme and 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 I knew Perrin jumped on the mic. Mm. So um, you know, yeah, yeah. in my mind, I, I was just like, man, I, I want to pull the three coolest dudes I know together and just have them write something. Just have them, just have them write sixteen and just put it all together. No hook, no nothing. Just keep it raw, and everybody writes to this beat, so everybody knows what they're talking about. Everybody, you know, can get the tempo together, get the flow together, um, and just go. And um, you know, I pitched it to 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 P to Mr. Carter, <laughs> and he was in. I pitched it to to Cyril, he was in, and um, you know, we all came up with our verses and recorded them. And uh, shout out to to Zeke, who is the the uh, co executive producer of this show, mm-hmm. who also shot the Safe House clip that we saw. Good. So you now know why Zeke and I are, are business partners because, <laughs> you know, what I, I bring to the table the creative side and he brings to the table the technical side and when we work together, it's always magic. So, you know, uh, yeah, he did was, Safe House yeah. and the uh, and the music and video. The music yeah, video he did Safe time. House and Payne. He shot, he shot both of them. Zeke Fair is enough. amazing when it comes to cinematography. So and shout I, I out to Zeke. I can confirm because I brought him with me last week too. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had Zeke out there, right? So he calls out. Zeke, like, we need more need of you, man. We Zeke, when you, you when you do the clips, I know you're going to clip this part and just put it up so <laughs> there's a clip of, of us all complimenting you. And it's okay. You weren't here. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. But, um, Talk some more yeah. about the verses, though. I mean, th- this is real storytelling. Mm. I mean, these are these are narrative type verses that we're, we've seen tonight. Not even just mm. this, but the the prior clips. But I mean, I know each of you had your own verse, and there was some level of independence on that. But I guess both of you talk about what your approach was to that song because it was powerful, and it shows that you guys thought about that, you know, for a long time. That's that is that is funny because he he sent. He sent the beats, right? He sent. He actually sent two beats. He was like, write two verses for two different songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm the second one hasn't this, been done yet. I'm gonna put this collaboration of things together. So it was like, all right, bet. You know, Sarreal so made the beats, by the way. Shout out to Sarreal. Yeah, Real, yeah, man. vicious joints, right? Um, and I had already the the beat was so vicious. What he wanted to do, the way he expressed his idea was so vicious. I was already bought into the why. You know what I'm saying? So the how and the what really didn't even matter after that point. You know what I'm saying? So I had already wrote my verse. And then I was like, oh, shit, maybe I should call Kain and figure out, like, <laughs> what he wants to maybe do with the song. Find out what the yeah, hell is like, what does he want to talk about on the jump? <laughs> and so I kind of, you know what I'm saying, I called him up. And I was like, hey, man, uh, so what were you thinking? He was like, you know, he, he spilled it out to me. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I was kind of going that route anyway. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So it was, it, was, it was crazy how it worked out without having to be worked out you know what i'm saying um and then he had his joint and then i i ain't even hear uh your folk verse till yeah, Max joint. till like Sorry, the really? day we shot the video for real no a couple days earlier a couple days before that joint but that joint was vicious i i never i never met him you know what i'm saying i never met him that is a that is a rock solid cat though yeah you know that's, my man. that's I, my man I, I it's always home magic home. when people I, I pride myself i have a lot of flaws but i, I pride myself on uh Cause I'm not a very, uh, like personable person. No, you're an asshole. Right. You know That's what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. So I, I pride you myself on, on intentionally developing relationships with people who I, who I just feel like are quality people. And, uh, P and Matt, I, like I said, as soon as, as I knew Matt was coming into town, I was like, I want to do something. And the first person I thought about was P. It was, it was parents. Let's Mr. Carter. It. I'm not sure what you want to be called. Hey, I'm show. all of it, brother. I'm Clarence <laughs> Carter. I'm the ignorant one. You man, know what I'm saying? Man, I'm, I'm, was, I'm uh, all of that. It was, yeah, it was, it was solid. Uh, my verse, I was sitting in South Beach in a shitty motel. Cause uh, we, we had, no, I'm serious. <laughs> we, uh, my wife and I went on vacation and the flight got canceled. 
Never fly Spirit Airlines. They suck. Uh, Spirit Agreed. refused to pay for our hotel room uh, until the next flight. And then they told us we had to wait two days. Ooh. Right? Our flight was supposed to be on Thursday, and we didn't end up leaving until Saturday morning. Dang. Right? So, and, and because we budgeted for this vacation, As and, you we, should. and we budgeted. That's the a very amount. responsible thing right. to do as an adult, yeah, by the way. Exactly. I want to go ahead and put an asterisk in that <laughs> for all those listening. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, because we budget budgeted your life. Vacation, Budgeting is key. And we, <laughs> and we had a set amount of money that we knew we wanted to spend. When we realized that we had to spend over that, we decided to go the economical route. So instead of, of getting the really nice hotel that we had been staying in for Crack the vacation, Central. we got something much, much worse. So... <laughs> he got Miami the rock Vice. Sorry. He got the rock spot. It was awful. <laughs> it was... It was horrible. I can't even describe to you how bad it is. I'm talking about like prostitutes, but it was this. But anyway, yeah, so like I'm sitting in this. I'm sitting in this. I'm sitting in this horrible motel. My wife is angry, right? Because she's you know because we got to stay here and there's no you know there's, there's no option about it. And um and I'm you know I'm thinking about the verse like okay we got to write something so I'm trying to block out the the fact that I'm in this horrible motel. Phil, right? Straight. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to block that out. And um and I'm thinking about you know current events and what happens and this line comes to me her baby's gone but you don't get it mm. right and I'm like okay can I make this work so I'm listening to the to the beat over and over again all right you know where else can you go with this you know can, you know her can I, baby's gone can I ask gone. a question of course it, it, the whole verse started with her baby's gone yeah her baby that was, that's what I knew I, I had to like start with fucked up her can baby's I ask gone another question she was it like a prostitute you baby, saw yeah. like walk out of a <laughs> room I'm sitting here like, that like you like heard her on like a phone like nah nigga fuck fuck all that fuck <laughs> the baby fuck the house I'm out I'm the out baby's here on these gone streets and you don't like, hold up whoa I'm on a vacation here. This is too much for me. I need a release. Yo, the baby's gone. It wasn't even that, man. It was. I mean, you know, this is right in the middle of everything that's, awesome. that's been going on. And I, I feel like, I feel like all the police brutality stuff and the and the the, the uh, unlawful killing of black males has been going on for so long. I can't even give a specific time frame for it. Okay. I want to be like this is right around the time of. But I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's I been thought, I thought so the long, original reason for the police was to control the property of the motherfucking people that own slaves down in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought that's where police. Well, yeah, we know that. But that's, look, we can't get into that. I don't understand. We got what nine the minutes left, about. Man, that is not no. a nine minute conversation. I was just confused not, about you know, this. You know, that is, you know that's, like, that's not a nine minute conversation. Look like they're doing their job to me. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't even go there. Let's sum that up then. Let's all digress. Everyone calm down. Take a deep breath. I love them all, man. You know what I love them all. Uh, I started with that because that's where I was, right? And it was a whole lot going on in the news. You know, Donald Trump still running for president. And, still, you know, like, Italy, like, trying to make America great all. again. I don't baby. know what's going on. Right? I'm and African, then, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I was intentional about in that verse. The last line is um, to all the mothers who's to all the mothers who's who's lost sons to whoever's bullets, mm -hmm. right? Because I wanted to, I, I intentionally said that because recognizing that there's a lot of black folk out here being killed unnecessarily by police, but also recognizing it's a lot of black folk out here killing other black folk completely unnecessarily. And I did not want to, you know, in, in the off chance that this song were to go worldwide and, you know, millions of people were to hear it, I, I wanted to intentionally recognize the mothers who've lost sons to police violence. And the mothers who've lost sons to, to I don't even want to say black on black because we know any that violence, that's urban it's any violence, violence. It's it's any, yeah. violence. any violence. And here's the here's here's what was beautiful about about my brother Cain's verse is that you apologize to them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You like, was I like, feel I like love this you, is my fault and, I'm, and I'm sorry. and I kind of do to a certain extent. Well, you know, what I'm, I mean, I know I can't that. save the world, but talk. like to a certain extent, I feel like you know what could I have done? You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, it, it's, so you're sorry it, for not knowing what to have done. I'm sorry to stop for it? not knowing what I could have done wow. to have stopped. Wow. Knowledge is everything. I am. It's I am. Just a lack I am. Of, I am, uh, I am genuinely sorry about huh. that. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Every time I see Trayvon Martin's mother, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Philando Castile's uh, uh, girlfriend. You know, I mean, all the people who, who. I'm genuinely sorry for that. Genuinely, like I don't know what I could have done. But it could have been more. Some, somewhere in some alternate universe, somewhere, Cain came in with a cape and saved this man from being killed. And I'm sorry mm. that it's not that universe. Mm, mm, mm. Um, mm. Hmm. That's, uh, that sounds like that's, a fucking that's, that's a whole nother show. That's some profound that shit. Is a, that is, a, that is, that is that's next that's week. 
on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, well, what? You, know, you ask a question, you get an answer. No, that was, <laughs> no, I really wanted to. I mean, we, we hadn't talked at length about it. Clearly, I didn't know that crazy ass South Beach story. <laughs> <laughs> With prostitutes you know, and here I am, crack here I am thinking I'm asking a question about a song I already knew about. Hell no. I don't know where that came from. But. That was, that was good to know. So before we run out of time, though, I know I was late, but I just want I know you covered this, but I want to congratulate you on hype. Oh, all right. When I met you, that's what we talked out. about. Yes, we did. And I'm just I'm just proud to know someone doing stuff like that. I mean, man, I already told you what I think about it. But now that it's public, congratulations. You see, man. You seen you seen that, man. That, that, Thank you. That uh, it's been a beautiful path and journey. You know what I'm saying? Like like. Hype is the culmination of a complete change in direction as a company, as a as a individual, you know what I'm saying? As a teammate, as a brother, you know what I'm saying? Like like uh it's it's just some powerful shit going on, man. You well, know what I respect saying? the work and keep it up, man. Man, I appreciate yeah, you. Bro. Thank you, man. All day. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. I I knew this was gonna be a family reunion. I said that from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yo, this isn't even gonna be like a normal show. This is all gonna be family, man. This is this, awesome. is, this is great. Talk to us a little bit about what BMC is doing in the future. What do you guys have planned? Oh, man. What don't we have planned? Um, Hype uh, will start again. We'll launch again on October 8th. Mm. And uh, we're pretty much booked at Scotland Rec in uh, Potomac until December 5th. Okay. So we'll be there and we'll run that. Uh, We intend on uh, doing Mm. pop-ups, you know, just bringing the party to the community. Mm -hmm. Microphones, speakers outside. Uh, We had a great one at the uh, Civic Center throughout the summertime. We've done plenty of them at the Civic Center. And just more shows. Mm. Uh, Jelani Kwesi, he has tons of just new music Mm. uh, just brewing. For real, for real, you know what I'm saying? A huge, another 120%, you know what I'm saying, to Mr. Jelani Kwesi. Shout out. I'll touch the, it on. He, was he, was driving, he is the driving engineer behind all the music, you know what I'm saying, that generates the the feelings, that go into the visuals, yeah. that bring about the events, they go, you know what I'm saying? Like the music is is the bloodline. Yeah. The, the, the music is where it all starts. Um, so wherever you is at tonight, Slim. Where you at, Johnny? I'll at me. <laughs> wherever you be, Cuzzo. Can you call uh, somebody? Uh, you know, 120% <laughs> to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Straight, Straight up. up. So if you could, uh, 10 years from now, where's BMC? Oh, man, 10 years from now, we, uh, we're all over the place. Matter of fact, to be completely specific, uh, we will have established a virtual and physical table where the separate factions of the community can come together and communicate. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, we will have done so over the backbone of promoting true artistry right here in D.C. metropolitan area. You know what I'm saying? So for all uh, for all of the grinders and the workers and the sweaters and the bleeders and the criers out there, you know what I'm saying, that's just trying to express, right? Um, we're out here building platforms. You know what I'm saying? We're out here creating environments where you can be safe and and know you home and go get it, you know what I'm saying, what you out here looking for. Um, so 10 years from now, all that to be said, we, we, will, we will have our, our plot of land, you know what I'm saying? We will have our uh, own recording studios and these government-sanctioned programs going on in the schools, <laughs> okay, you know okay. what I'm saying, where we teach them. No, no, no bullshit, bro. I'm out here to Monday, combat yeah, the miseducation of our babies. Of course. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> don't course. think I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm, you'll ever see me dancing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going you gonna to catch me, you know what I'm saying, with somebody around me with some pencils and pads talking about how they're going to get better. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about? So in 10 years, the class is going to be bigger and the school's going to be moving faster. You know what I'm saying? And, and other public school systems and private school organizations mm-hmm. are going to be calling us, talking about, hey, we need you to help us teach our babies better. Right. You That's know exactly what, what they're doing now. Yes. Yeah, sure. right. How about that? So 10 years from now, you know what I'm saying? You better call me now. How about that? You better <laughs> call right. me now. So, I'll just right. say we'll be worldwide in 10 years. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully we'll be... Uh, We'll also be connected in some way. At that hopefully, point. You know, hopefully. We, we, look, it's, yeah. It's, see, it's, I thought this was a reunion coming. going on. It's, it's, it's a completely he different show, ladies and gentlemen. Time flies family. when you're having fun, and our time is up. Uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in to thank Shorts you. and Focus once again, where we show short films love. I want to thank my guests. 
Amari, pronounce your uh, last name because I just know you. Amari Jaquite. Amari Jaquite. <laughs> There's actually a yeah, quotation yeah. between the T and the E at the end of it. So. Um, <laughs> right, and my other guest, <laughs> hey, they know. You know what I'm saying? I'm Mr. Carter, Clarence Carter, P, the ugly one, the ignorant. Clarence master, Carter. You know what I'm saying? It depends on where you catch me, what you call me. I you be stroking. But, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all, y'all be safe. I be stroking yeah, to I got, the I got east. four babies. You know what I'm saying? I what be proof you got? to the west. I put stems on all my eyes. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, anyway and, my safe out and my co-host Matt Chippin' on Thanks Matt, for it's a this, pleasure, man. Yeah. Check yeah. us out, yeah. Shorts and Focus, the website oh, uh, www. Uh, hey, man, hey, I'll be awesome. Plug the show, plug the show. <laughs> Hey, uh, check out the website www.shortsandfocus.tv. Check us out on Facebook at Shorts and Focus, on Twitter at Shorts and Focus, on Instagram at Shorts and Focus. We are all over the place. Follow us. We got new content coming. We are starting the movement. We show short films love. Thank you guys for tuning in. Go we love it. you. Go Good get night. It. Go get it. Go right, get thank it. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Zeke Dowdy. And I'm Kayeen Thomas. And so we're the producers of Shorts in Focus. He's also the host. I am. I am the host, so you're going to see my face a lot. Shorts in Focus is a show that will be aired on ListenVisionLive.com. It's ListenVisionLive.com. We will be featuring short film projects. So we're going to screen it, and then we're going to have a conversation with the filmmakers themselves. The actors, the actresses, mm -hmm. producers, directors. There's no telling who's going to be on the show, but they will always be able to have a discussion about what it is that you just saw. So whether you have a narrative, documentary, hell, music video, give us a shout at Zeke at shortsandfocus.tv or, or Kayeen <laughs> at shortsandfocus.tv. And remember, your project has to be short. Every Monday night at 8 p.m. on ListenVisionLive.com. All right, so what you want to do is on Monday nights, 8 o'clock p.m., you want to go to www.ListenVisionLive.com. You can do it on your cell phone or you can do it on your laptop, although we know that you'll be doing it from your cell phone. Once again, you want to go to www.ListenVisionLive.com. Mondays at 8 o'clock p.m. Go to the site, hit play. We will be streaming live. So Mondays, <laughs> 8 o'clock p.m., ListenVisionLive.com. Tune in, check us out. We're sure you'll love it.